episode 113. OK, takže odpoveď teda, poznám slova veľmi dobre. our section that's sponsored by kindness matters cardiff at kind cardiff on twitter it is where we throw away the negativity that seems to enough of that. surround football and we're going to bring in a bit of positivity by showing and telling you about stories of people related to the game being kind we came up with this idea because my nine-year-old daughter sydney started a kind club in her school so we took an idea and made it an even better idea i mean you could say that You could say that what we've done is done a poor we've attempt, done, uh, but this is, is. Can I start things off? Max Taylor for Manchester United. Oh, okay. He is the 19-year-old uh, who was diagnosed with testicular cancer while he was in the youth setup at United. He's come through that now, and he's been named in the squad for the Europa League. And I just think that's an amazing story. It's yeah, another tick in the social column, as far as I'm concerned. You need to put, put it down. Never. Tick. Oh, 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 shout out to that Euro Millions winner. What do you do with the you money? You like 200 odd million. It's Partick Fissel uh, fan, and he won like something like 200 million. But what he's done is he's bought the club, he's bought a majority share in the club. So, something like I think it's 55%. So, he basically owns the club, he's the majority shareholder. And then what he, and also the land, importantly. So, he's bought the land as well, so that it couldn't be sold off and redeveloped and stuff. And he is done it all right and properly. And then next year, once the supporters group have got all of their stuff in order, he's given it to the club. <laughs> he's given it to the, f- the supporters club, which is incredible. So the fans will own part of Fistle. All the ball boys. All the ball boys. Do, ball. The, yes. do their job. Nice, nice yeah, addition. I the, like that. Little non creepy cuddles. Got from, an assist. From uh, Jose Mourinho. Yeah. That's the nice, uh, the Mourinho new PR team is. is working working over time. We'll say that later on. Any other good news? Virgil yeah. van Dijk. And Nivea yes. as well, Nivea and Liverpool. That's yeah. the partnership that it yeah. was. Tugging the, on your heartstrings there. Yeah, they sent him to speak to a long-time fan who had learning difficulties based on um, lack of oxygen at birth. Is one of the stuff. Yeah, to give you a full depth. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, so he helped out with a guy who pushed trolley from the car park. Yeah, that guy shot off. Well, that's kind of what it is. I was just giving a bit of background. So oh. this man is is you know unfortunate and in his life and he's and what they did they teamed up and Virgil van Dijk went and surprised him in a supermarket that where he works and took him off to Melwood and he met all the players and he met them, Jurgen Klopp and he had a great time and then at the end they've said that they're going to pay they announced they were going to pay for his uh, away travel and tickets for the mm. rest of the season like it's great well done Liverpool they've all joined kind club They're yeah. hanging out with Roma and Chris Smalling. Yeah, they're both night. They're both in Kind Club. Kind Club and Roma Child are both catches, previous members. Helping out f- catch children, find children with uh, with More fine, with less catch. Yeah. Roma are not only in Kind Club, they should be in Find Club. It's Mitchell Gard here, and if I'm not on ATR, I'm listening to ATR, so have a think about that. Yeah. Yes. Mourinho and Spurs, um, has it been a hit so far? I described the Mourinho thing as the equivalent to Malcolm Tucker just creeping up in a big snug snug fleece. 
Do you know what? It's Amazing. never has an analogy been more apt for the first week of a managerial career. Mm-hmm. You were you were nail on the head with that. Um, very, just Mal- a, very Malcolm Tucker in a fleecy. Yes, yeah, so with with the rejuvenation of a new manager. Good word. Who they've needed to sort of suppress the egos and actually get all the players on side because one yeah. thing Spurs didn't have was uh, togetherness in the dressing room or outside the dressing room or anywhere near it. And look what's happened within two games with, say, like, I don't know, Deli Ali. Yeah. He's just, where, where's he Where's he come from? Do you, hear, he do you hear the actual quote of what Mourinho said to you? He was brother. Yeah, he's Deli or Deli's brother. Yeah, what did he say? He's Deli, isn't he? He is him. It is, definitely. Uh, right, yeah. and, uh, look, he just, he's come to life a bit, hasn't he? The fact that uh, Mourinho's actually employed a new PR for it. Well, you can clearly see that. It's you can clearly the difference see between... He's a media outlet now, that man. The difference in media uh, attention you get being Spurs manager over being Manchester United manager. Like, Man United manager, the attention you get is, is very negative. As Spurs manager, it's very positive. So Mourinho, if he's back being the happy Mourinho that we all loved... The cheeky, hum, you know, the He'll cheeky, do that for a while, but charming then, one at Chelsea. Then the the intensity time, picks up because he's an intense manager to work with. If Mourinho wins the League Cup, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. does that make him a Absolutely. more successful manager than Pochettino? If he get like uh, as as per my previous email, yes, and if they get get fourth place as well or in the top five, that'll that'll yeah. that'll be huge. So if he can do that, that would be a successful stint. For how long? Who knows? For how long till the media actually turn on him? But it's the best start. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, pissing, great start. I'm not pissing on your chips. No, it's a great it. start. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare do that. Um, it's not an easy job, is it? It's a hard job. Because I'm giving him a solid A. Solid A. Uh, yes, yeah, gotta be. Yeah, definite start. There we are. Grade yeah. Mourinho and Spurs. Hey. Bale and Madrid, a love affair. Let calm, you calm them down. Because calm down, because you need this. The media control the masses. Yeah. You can make anyone into a villain. It's a strange one because the British media have been extremely positive to Gareth Bale, but the the European media has been very negative. I can see why Gareth Bale would be like, you know what, you you've never really liked me here. You know, I, I, I'm not leaving. Because, you being out there now. Yeah, so I'm not leaving because you're paying me a lot of money. So unless someone pays me that same amount of money, I'll just stay at Madrid. But I can see Madrid's point of view. And they're like, we, you, we've put a lot of money in you, a lot of time and a lot of money into you. And now you're sort of not really performing. Are you Real, Real Madrid now? Now I'm Real Madrid. Gareth, little old Welsh Gareth Bale. This is, is why it's fascinating. off. This is why it's fascinating. On, it's, on the biggest level, on the biggest stage you would hope for. And you can see how both I, both press have, have dealt with it. Messi time. is the greatest player of all time. Unai Emery. Yeah. Dracula himself. I just wanted to mention about Arsenal TV. Please articulate. Please, instead of just acting with raw emotion. Is talking to Arsenal fan TV right now? Yeah. Like, okay. Instead of reacting like with raw emotion, please just put something together which makes sense. And just don't, just don't react. Just think about what you say. Be precise in your speech. If you're in Britain right now, the, the last thing you grief. want to be doing is Vox Pops. The, the atmosphere in Britain right now is it's horrible. Just, it's just terrible. You don't need right. Arsenal fan TV dicking around. Nuno, what? If his staff uh, 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 and his players are on side, where do you go from there? You can't win them back. It's the impossible task, and it's because of this momentum of trash. Yeah. You're always very positive about Arsenal, so you see you see the side of things that the, because other Arsenal fans expect you to be winning the league every year. It just shows you like you've suffered with United. It's the same same sort of thing. It'll be just be a I'm different situation. I'm coming around to your way of thinking about my football club because I said the other day, and I've said it before, if Man United were in League Two, I'd still support them. So oh. I celebrated that that Sheffield United game was brilliant. That was a great game. It was a great game to watch. And although, yeah, look, we came away with a point. I didn't think we came away with anything. So it was mm. positive. I'm coming around to your way of thinking. So you're I like your way of looking at Arsenal because just support. You'll be you'll be, you'll get more out of it. I like your way of thinking. Negativity spewing from every orifice. 
they might need a change up. Football is a commodity, players are commodities, everything else, the theatre of life goes on, blah, blah, blah. It might just be a case of re like refreshing the page again. Can you see Nuno going to Arsenal? Yeah, look, I think that? Nuno would be a good Even appointment. Even if it would just be the same sort of area they'd be working in, same sort of space, they're in the, they share space now. They're space yeah. sharers. I uh, think this quote from Nuno is correct oh yeah we've got a, yeah we've got a quote it's just quote. new he says why go out for burgers when you have a steak at home i oh, think well, that's an official he's giving mixed messages i there. might need to check that do, do you have sources on might that? be off the record oh okay I'd like to imagine see if pochettino turns up at can you imagine just oh, out of pure brilliant. spite a move out of pure spite but also hey he's just waiting in the wings of united like ooh, ooh, ooh. we're gonna on, go off piste we're, we're gonna, gonna go off the grid piece, yeah we're gonna go off the grid we will wager you Tappence that no other football podcast will be talking about what we're about to talk about. Burnley. Burnley. And, and it's more of a respectful doff of the cap. Yeah. To Burnley. Um, like, all right, we see you. Have never been a club that have really excited me. I think it's fair to say. Don't want to think I'm, of that. I've never been excited by Sean Dyche. Or by Burnley, and they're starting to bring me around. I'm a big fan of Chris Wood. They're just solid as ever. You can't fault them. That's why this a little respectful nod, nod to you, Sean, and the Burnley lot. It's for the fans, by the by the fans. Fans know what they're getting. They've got great support around them. They've got fantastic. No, that is their ethos. Them. Burnley, we salute. Okay, takže odpověď teda poznám slova velmi dobře. We will be back next week. Um, not in this format. Not in no, this format whatsoever. Next week will be a very different format because next week it'll be live. We will be recording this podcast live. Jamie McGowan is going to be hosting a quiz with us. So this next week it will be a live, a live podcast. Shout out to Welsh Ice for loaning us Jamie McGowan. <laughs> Shout out to Rob at Little Man Coffee. Shout out to Jamie at the Wallet. It's an independent podcast at an independent coffee shop with a guest host from a company that supports independent businesses and we're raising money for a wonderful local charity. Mm -hmm.